A lot of my goals last year were very vague. A lot of them were very general, like culture, history, writing, attention to detail. I want to focus on creative direction, creative strategies, creative filmmaking, video editing, and brand identity. This semester, my interests have not changed. However, I have narrowed down my specializations and things that I want to focus on. For my specialization, either take creative strategies or brands and innovation. I took on the project of visual storytelling by collaborating with my friend. She was my model. I braided her hair and created this concept of a dancer and movement and how hair is a part of your movement and part of your personality. I got inspired by our class project of creating a consumer report creating a brand persona and creating a brand book for that persona. It's led me to do more research on communitarianism and sociology. Since my internship is going to be in the penultimate semester, I created different checklists for different periods up until then. I also narrowed down my possible roles to what most relates to me and my career and what I see for myself in the future. I found a few jobs that were interesting to me. Um, mostly in video production, like in this influencer marketing at Honka Muller, where I get to work with and shadow the filmmakers and editors. It'll help hone my creative production skills. I'm also very excited for this because of the benefits. And in all my application letters, I also made sure to mention things about the company, things I was curious about. The Media Monks internship was my least favorite. I really like Media Monks and I like the content that they produce, but the internship didn't have that much information or the methods of contacting them was also evasive. So I suppose they're the kind of company that would probably seek you out. That's why my goal is to make sure that my portfolio fulfills all of this as I also build my own personal projects to build myself as a video editor, a creative producer and a creative director in the fashion industry and also industries that could relate to the fashion industry. I'm most excited for visual culture just to learn a new way of thinking creatively. Cesar Amsterdam is a company that I definitely want to work for even not just for the internship but just even starting out with them. I really love the companies that they work with except McDonald's. I appreciate that they give you a lot of information on what to look forward to and what you're going to get, what you're going to do. Very important details which helps me prepare better for that job. Because my internship is later there's a lot of lists, a lot of processes that I think will be helpful to me in the future. My portfolio, I decided to build a website. I thought it was the most professional way to go about it. I also wanted to be able to update it anytime and for companies to be able to seek me out or seek my work out and find or happen upon it as opposed to me having to contact somebody for them to see my work. A lot of these portfolios I've actually been following for a long time, like Aaron Lowell Denton. He's an amazing music graphic designer. He has been working in the music industry probably since before I was born. I am very inspired by his graphics, his spacing, his font, his layouts, his website logo was also amazing. I was inspired by that and I also tried to do something similar. Sylvia Ogwang is an amazing copywriter. She's also a social media specialist. Her website is so phenomenal. I actually emulated a few of her styles in my portfolio as well, like her bulleted lists and her layout design. While we go through the other portfolios, which are honorable mentions, I will like to say how the semester was for me. It was a bit challenging. We had two group members that dropped out and one of my group members was an exchange student. So it was pretty tough. But I think the best thing that I've learned this year is that I can do anything. Like as long as I believe that I can, I can do it. It doesn't really matter. I'm also going to be scheduling a lot of School of Life videos to watch. Now into the portfolio. This was my first draft for the website. I took the feedback on from here and decided to create a whole new website. I picked things I wanted to emulate and also wrote the feedback. Here is my layout of how the website is going to be arranged, how the color is going to be, the arrangement, everything. This is my name logo. I decided to add my photo to it. I also included a layout for the portfolio website to be an easy guide for me through designing the website and to make sure it's all cohesive. For my CV, I already had a marketing and art background. So I just used that and added that to my current work experience in the Netherlands that relates to my career. I'm very excited for an internship, but the job already started now. I have to keep creating content on my own and putting my work out to the world so they can see I it. I already have a list of projects. I just need to create a strict schedule and the summer has started. I'm available for hire.